Hello, here you can find the second setup video for complete RPG project. The first part you can find in the description. If you want to change the mesh of your character, you need to be sure you have the same skeleton as Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin. If you have another skeleton, you need to retarget it before. You can learn about retargeting from the tutorials. You can find the link in the description. Import your mesh and choose Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin skeleton. Now you can change the mesh in the demo character blueprint. You also need to change the mesh in the inventory character. For this you need to open render mesh and uh, change the skeleton the same way. To create a new character from start, you need to set the skeleton mesh first. Open demo character blueprint and copy every component. Now we need to add the interfaces and create the same functions and macros as in the demo character. After we finish the preparations, we need to copy the code from the demo character. Fortunately, you cannot copy macros functions, so we need just to place the created macros in the right parts.
We need to set our new character in the game mode and configure some variables. If you want to have the same system, you need to set the orient to movement to true and set the use controller rotation yaw to false and change the max walk speed in the character movement. To set up swimming area, you need to place some components to the map. First of all, direct the water blueprint to the place you want. Then you need to add a post process and select the post process material. Place this volume at the swimming area. In the volume configuration, you need to set water volume to true. At the end, you need to create an audio volume and drag the sound cue to the center of the audio volume. You need to be sure that the class of the sound cue is water. Open audio volume details and set the interior volume to zero. In the ladder system, you need to be sure you have the mesh at the top of the ladder. You can change the parts of the ladder as you want. In hitable actor, you need to choose the actor you will give after player hits the actor. 
choose the maximum amount of hits and the respawn time if the actor is respawnable. You can also change the impact particle or impact sound. The mesh of the actor goes from the items data table. To spawn actor you need to choose the maximum amount of spawned actors at one time and the classes. They will spawn part by part. To get the area bigger, click on the box collision and change the box extent. Hey. In AI spawn the situation is the same, but you also need to choose the behavior tree and the patrol points if you need. Now, if you want to change the image of the map, you need to create a row in the level map data table. Choose your map screenshot and set the name of the map from your folder. You can also change the resolution of the map screenshot or your inventory character in the render textures.